Mm. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So as you can see by today's title, I am doing a very exciting theatre review. If you're new to my channel, my name's Luke, also known as Luke's Life here on YouTube. I film daily vlogs, hauls, unboxings, theatre reviews, studio vlogs, the list goes on. If that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. Button? Button? No. If that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and become part of the Luke's Life family. And without further ado, let's get into the review. So quick side note, I actually do have a playlist of all the theatre reviews that I've done. So I'll leave a playlist here. I think it's here, if not here. You can click on the playlist and see all the shows that I've reviewed. But today, I am reviewing the one and only Waitress the musical. So the way that I film these theatre reviews I always answer the same five questions that way I feel it gives the video more structure but it's just a more fair review. Also it's a lot easier for me to edit. <laughs> Let's be real. Just before we get into the questions last week on Thursday was mine and Mr P's birthday. Yes we share the same birthday it's insane to think of it still baffles my brain but I love sharing a birthday with my partner. It's just like, it feels like another Christmas day because you're both happy, you're both excited, you're both celebrating. It's a good day. So it was our birthday Thursday, P was working. So on Friday, we went to London and stayed overnight. And whilst there, we went to the Adelphi Theatre to go and see Waitress the Musical. This musical actually opened on the West End, I believe, last April 2019. And I think it closes correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure it closes about March, April time this year. So if you want to go and see it, you only have a few months to go and see it here in London. I am aware that they are touring later this year, um, but no dates have been announced just yet. The so question number one, have I seen this musical before? Answer, no. This was the first time we'd ever seen Waitress. I feel, I've had the soundtrack on my phone, as I say, for the longest time ever. I've watched so many like live versions of the show when they're performing at different awards and I've just kind of like been following them on social media for probably 12 months now. So I've seen so many clips and I know some people don't like to watch clips before they go and see a show but I'm kind of the opposite. I really like to know what I'm in for. That way I feel that I appreciate the show more whilst I'm there. So yeah, first time that I'd ever seen the show. And I really hope, fingers crossed, that it's not the last time that I get to see it. Question number two, plotline of the story of the musical. So it's basically, as you can see, it's called Waitress. It's based around a diner in America in a very small little town. And it's based around, I'm gonna say like three main characters, three women who are waitresses, the title. I'm not going to go too much detail into it because you probably know what the story is about but in a nutshell it's it's based around a main character called Jenna who is in a relationship that it isn't healthy. She falls pregnant. She doesn't want the child because she doesn't want to bring it into this unhealthy relationship and the musical kind of like shows her the different emotions that she's feeling and the dreams and aspirations that she has and then in the end when she has the baby her whole world changes and her whole ambition and outlook on life completely changes as well. Um, and it's just a really good, feel good musical. But also not just like happy, happy, happy. It's very sad and emotional at times. Different issues throughout it, like dealing with drunks and domestic abuse. So it is very emotional. It has very heart wrenching plots and twists in it, um, which at sometimes watching it is it's quite sad to see because it, sadly it happens in real life. But the story at the end is a really happy ending and um, yeah, <laughs> we loved it. Question number three, the highlight of the show. This is such a hard one for me. Usually the highlight for me is the song, the music or one of the cast members. But for me, I think this particular show, the highlight for me was finally getting to go to the West End and see it live in front of me. These songs that I've listened to for the last 12 to 18 months, like seeing them perform live on stage right in front of you was just like, you know you have them moments and you're like, oh, like I'm really, really lucky to be sat here now watching this show. Um, and I had a lot of them moments throughout the show. So that was definitely the highlight for me. Another highlight was definitely the cast. I know we always talk about this, but it always amazes me, the cast. Like, casts in shows are super, super talented. And this cast was just 
insanely talented and not only like could they sing, could they act, they were just naturally funny and I feel like they had each character down to a T. The way they stood, the way they brought themselves on stage, the way they projected that character to the audience. I, ugh, it was just so, so good. And on the top of that is the music and the music alone is amazing. So to put music, cast, staging, sets, live band all into one thing is just, um, yeah, it's an incredible thing to see. Question number four, do I recommend? 100% recommend. So one of the things that I loved about this show was I feel like when you go to see a show there's always, for me personally, I always feel like there's things that they could have done to better it. Not just like the show but the whole experience. Like going to the theatre, I always feel like you look at the merch stands for instance and the programmes. Naturally I had to buy a programme, I always do. But I always feel like, oh they should have like sold this or that or this would have been cool if they did this and I feel like I went to see this show and there was nothing that I could have thought to improve it. For instance when you go into the main reception they had like a huge merchandise stand with t-shirts, with the brochures, with bags, cups, they had pins, waitress pins that I was so so tempted to buy but they also had which I was like I was really hoping that they had it and they did. You could actually buy like pie when you went there. So you could, there was like chocolate pie, cherry pie, and I think like an apple pie. And the fact that they had these and they were like branded with like the waitress branded, I just thought that was such a cool touch to the show. And I was like, that is like next level. I feel like that's probably what you get when you go to the West End or Broadway. It's like next, next level. I love that like extra touch. Love that the staff in the theatre had like diner outfits on. Another thing that was really cool, in the lobby area to the theatre, they had these guest check slips, kind of like what you would get in an American diner. And they had like a huge pin board that you could write your reviews on. So you could write your reviews, what your highlight of the show was, and pin it on a board that would kind of look like a diner. And I just thought that was such a cool feature. Um, naturally, I wanted one of these just to keep as a souvenir. So I took it. And last but not least, out of five stars, I'm gonna call it out of five pies. Out of five pies, naturally, I'm gonna give it five out of five. This show was just incredible to see. As I say, I've listened to the music for the past 12 to 18 months. So to finally get to see it live on stage performing in front of your eyes was just such a special treat, such a special moment and I really, really enjoyed it. I highly, highly, highly recommend going to see it if you haven't already. I know that starting from tomorrow, the 27th of January, Sarah Bareilles is back in the West End show, which I, I think she's there for three weeks, playing the main character, Jenna. So if you get the opportunity to go and see her, go and see her, because that will be incredible. Sarah wrote the music for the musical, so to get to see her perform it live as Jenna, which I think would be so special. So if you haven't already and you have the opportunity to go and see it over the next couple of weeks, go, 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 go. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this theatre review. I highly recommend going to see this musical. If you're tempted to, if you're on the fence, go. It is so much fun. If you're unable to get to the West End, I am aware that they are touring later on this year. No dates have been announced yet, but they're definitely touring for 2020. So once that website goes up, I'll leave a link in the down bar below to the UK tour. Go check it out, see if they're visiting your hometown, and yeah, get tickets because it is a show not to be missed. Thanks for watching as always. Until next time, peace.